Hey everybody. Hey, good evening. My name's Joe. And I'm Jake, and this is a Stay at Home Dad Beer Cast quick review. Where are we going? Hey, we're going back to Portland yet again, having another treat from Great Notion. I might have a few stocked up right now. Sweet. Yeah. We're gonna have a strawberry shortcake. That's right, another tasty Ooh, tart ale. So it's a strawberry that, tart ale uh, with some other flavors hanging in there. But it, uh, yeah. I mean, looking at the picture on the front is if you've ever wanted to dive into a strawberry cream, cake or a strawberry shortcake there you go that's what this is supposed to be like and i'm ready yeah we're looking at six percent alcohol by volume and drink today drink today folks yeah. right now right this minute so let's go cheers oh it smells creamy it smells like a shortcake it really that does smells pretty fantastic. i get that i get that lactose immediately Ooh. 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 Um, a minute. That lactose. That, it's heavy. Yeah, it's, it's heavy. a lot more heavy than I expected. Yeah, so it is. I was expecting the strawberry to be on the forefront because the last not. tart ale we had was the raspberry, yep. and the raspberry was the front runner. This one very much that shortcake flavor is playing a massive mm -hmm. role in this, mm -hmm. and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just almost it surprising. It, it it feels like when you get that piece mm -hmm. of strawberry shortcake without the strawberries on it, and so you get into the shortcake first, real heavy. No, it's like the piece of shortcake that only has a little bit of that strawberry glaze. Or that, yeah. And so you um, get kind of that that sweet tart aspect of the strawberry, but it's mainly that cake and that whipped cream. It's chewy. Yeah, and it's it's a bit of a lactose bomb. It is a lactose um, bomb. It's chewy. And it, it almost coats your mouth a little bit. So it's definitely not on par with the Ramble on Rosé or mm -hmm. Ramble on Rose or whatever that one was. I would take that all day, every day. That was so oh, yummy. Oh, that beer was phenomenal. This but one this... is interesting would be the term I would go with. Experimental, um, yeah. maybe? Yeah, and it's and I mean the flavors are hitting. Like it tastes like a strawberry shortcake. Oh. I'm just not sure if I want it as a beer. There you go. And it's and if it is, do there I want go. it as a tart ale? Yeah, this is like and it's as a is, smoothie yeah. style. As a smoothie style, this might be fire. Yeah. And it's but the tart aspect is just kind of throwing that lactose off a of skosh for me. Or maybe I sat on the beer a little too long and it's my own damn fault. Do you when'd you get it? Do you know? Do you remember? Mm, so this I've, I've had it for probably two months. Okay, so this might be this might a bit be of a storage. Yeah. Because it's just overpowering. Yeah. And um and I, I yeah, it's it's overpowering and chewy and I'm just sitting here like, no, these are aspects I do not want. Yeah. Um But so, the beer doesn't taste turned no, in any way, shape, or form. It's, it's, but I don't it want that might, to be <laughs> Yeah. I want it to I, be a storage issue. I wanted this to be fantastic. Uh -huh. And and you know what? Not every beer is just phenomenal. Right. And and I'm okay. It hits all of the flavor points I was expecting. So therefore it's I give them credit on the They're there. The just craft of the recipe. The balance is off. Yeah, exactly. So it's I mean I'm I'm at about a three two five three five. Like I am not in love. Oh that's generous. I I like it. I'm I, still happily I, going to drink this. I I'm at about a two seven five. Oh wow. So you're really I adverse with this. Okay. It's it's chewy. Yeah. It's it's a bit ah. chewy for me. Ah. I'm I'm still enjoying. I'm just not well, loving. Go. I'll so. probably slam it. We'll see. Um <laughs> with that, cheers, cheers. everybody.